संसार So our next speaker is His Grace Sikhi Mahiti Prabhu. Sikhi Mahiti Prabhu received his initiation in 1975 in Chicago. Currently he is serving as, as the temple president uh, at School of Philadelphia. So Sikhi Mahiti Prabhu will be our next speaker. Sikhi Mahiti Sri La Prabhupada Ki. So, as all the speakers have stated by the grace of Sri La Prabhupada, we are under the shelter of Lord Krishna's eternal energy and we are no longer feeling the effects of the modes of material nature. Sri La Prabhupada Ki. So I was trying to think of what to say, like she says, in three to five minutes. It's kind of hard, but I had more time than she did to think about it. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to stress probably, and we're sitting here in Butler, and you know, who goes to Butler, Pennsylvania for vacation? <laughs> it's not marked on any vacation places or anything. So it seems like such an insignificant place. We're doing hard and um, half the stores are closed, and you think, why, do, why does anyone even live here? You see? All right? <laughs> well, it's not, so I come from a small town, too, but I mean, if you're from New York, L.A., you think... Uh, yeah, kill him! No, no, anyway, I'm trying to bring out, maybe magnify the spiritual significance of this place. You know, people don't see that part, really. You know, once in a day of Lord Brahma, Lord Chaitanya appears. I'm okay, Lord Chaitanya. But very significant, isn't it? So easy to get love of Godhead. You don't have to do 60,000 years of yoga. You don't have to perform ashramata jaga. You don't have to do elaborate deity worship. You don't have to do anything. Just chant Hare Krishna, isn't it? So easy is available. How often does that happen? Once in a day, Lord Brahma. That's uh, 12 hours is about 4 trillion years. Put his night there, another 4 trillion, that's 8 trillion years that occurs. All these holy places begin to manifest. So as you know, Mahaprabhu appeared in Navadweep, a little small town, Calcutta, and Prabhupada mentioned he could have easily just established pure love of God it, all over the globe, easily. Imagine if Mahaprabhu appeared now, when we have internet and all these things. You know, so he could just sit in his little office. I'm getting my text right now. Let me turn this thing off. <laughs> so, no, but he came at a time when you couldn't even, if you wanted, imagine now we're distributing books. How, how would you get Srimad Bhagavatam 500 years ago? Someone had to write it on palm leaf. Imagine that. How, how long does that take? How many copies can you make? Now, you know, five dollars, please. Could you could you take and take one using? So it made it very easy for us. So uh, this Butler, Pennsylvania, is the beginning also of the another part of Mahaprabhu's Leela. You see, it's not some small town in Pennsylvania where the whole world doesn't come for vacation. But those who have awakened their love of God hit, they want to come here. Right? How many people like to go to India and visit the holy places? Now imagine how many people in India would like to come here. Can they come? So we're so fortunate that we get to stand in this place where the next phase of the Krishna conscious movement, that phase in which every town and village prophecy was fulfilled. We get to stand here today and, and see, these, see what the events as they occurred. And also take that mercy from this place and take it back to our places to continue spreading this mission. So I joined in 1975. That was at a period of time. You can imagine like Jai Shri was in 68. Imagine probably had bricks and a board. You know, there, where's money? Where's my such a struggle? That's probably the first part of the Iskand Lila. Second part, a little more money. A little more travel, they're flying a little bit, no more hitchhiking. 
So I came at a time when things were pretty much established with the book distribution. We were doing about $2,000 a day in books in Chicago. Yeah, that's, can you imagine? I didn't think about it, it was just something normal. You know, it just went out, everybody went out. So it was at about $10,000 nowadays. So, of course, some of us will admit, oh, why we're not doing that now? How are we lost? No, this is another phase that's coming on. So, even though I came at that time, I could see Krishna probably arranged for me at that time because very young body, I can run on the intersection all day long, you know, begging people to take a magazine. I could do 200 magazines like that, eight hours a day. Perfect body for that. So everyone couldn't come at that time, doesn't it? It doesn't make practical sense for everyone to appear at that time and be there with Prabhupada. I used to lament, why couldn't I have been in 1966, you know, and on Second Avenue with Prabhupada? You know, it was so nice. <laughs> but I got that. Similarly, you all aren't missing out on anything either. This is the next phase of Krishna consciousness. There should be 10,000 people coming here. There will be 10,000 people coming here. Maybe in the lifetime of our younger generation, they'll see that. You know, just like in India, I can remember going in 77, I was shocked. Where are all the people? Nobody come to our temple. <laughs> now our temple is nothing but Indians, right? <laughs> I've, never, I've never thought we ever make any Indian disciples, only Subha Vilas. <laughs> he's the only one who came took Diksha from Prabhupada. Imagine that, he's there, and nobody, none of the Indians would come. He leaves, now they all come. Of course, now we're trying to get some Westerners to come too, it'll be nice, but anyway, that's our next challenge. So, anyway, we're all Krishna sending us at particular times to push this mission on within our short lifespans. And we also very fortunate. You get this once in a day of Brahma, we get to participate in pioneering the establishment of the Krishna conscious movement for the next 10,000 years. So, a thousand years from now, there's not going to be much to do because most of the major work is done. You just participate. Kind of like when you go to India, what do you do? You just take prasad and chant. There's no work to be done. So in America, we still have a nice opportunity to do something. So take some inspiration from this place. And we see how Prabhupada struggled, laying his clothes on the grass, no money. And we can go back and say, yes, please empower me, Sri Prabhupada, that I can add something to this ISKCON movement so that it can continue its growth. Thank you very much for listening. Hare Krishna.